come spend the day with me as a solo mum and small vegan bakery owner. Just got myself ready and made a smoothie. This one's my favourite, it's ginger and turmeric. Obviously made some for Ezra as well because he can't miss out, he loves them. Had some cuddles, got our shoes on and then we were ready to head out. I had to take him to nursery, say goodbye to my mum first. She is living with us at the minute and then grabbed all my bags i swear i'm always like loaded up this is probably quite tame what i'm usually carrying had a little two minute drive around the corner and then i headed straight into my kitchen i run the vegan bakes which is an online vegan bakery and i've been running it for six years now well six years next month first up i chose the giveaway winners for our giveaway that we ran in the vibs group we've got a facebook and whatsapp group and we do these every few months just to treat our lovely customers who are always ordering and supporting my business. Got ready and joined the girls in the kitchen. So I was packaging up all of these mystery bits. So these were the brownies. Our cookie stacks, these are just absolute mammoth, they're insane. Then I did a little tally for all the different mystery boxes that I needed because we have a four bake one, a six bake one, and an eight bake one. And then I got to put these all together. This is my favorite thing to do, I think. So I just love selecting all the different bakes and putting different selections together for everyone. I usually will always make sure there's a nice selection of brownies and cookies and different flavors. We also put some of our new cake batter tubs in these ones because we have some of them available. They've been really popular and something that I might be adding to the website. So make sure you give us a shout if it's something you are interested in. Look at those, they were all the six bake ones. And then I had a couple of eight bake ones to put together, just two of those. Then it was straight on to wrapping our mixed brownie points box. So you get eight different flavors in this. We have a get stuffed one as well, which doesn't contain any nuts. Whereas the brownie points one has a peanut butter and Nutella brownie in it. And they go on the shelf. Look at everything looking fabulous and ready to be boxed up. Then I had to empty the dishwasher. This is something that we always have to keep keep on top of throughout the day on a packaging day because there's just always so much to get through and yeah we just need to make sure we keep running dishwasher and get everything done and then we had baked next month's sugar fix box i baked it so that i could take photos of it ready to put on the website they're our birthday deep dish they're really popular and then we were on to making some chub tubs so me and lucy made these this is so much easier when it's like a two person job because one person can just stuff the brownies in and one person can pop the sauces in. So I was doing biscuit ones first up. And then I did some salted of caramel and then I also did some jam ones. We make these using all of our ends and off cuts, so nothing goes to waste here. And they have actually become one of our best selling products. So I absolutely love that that's happened. People say that they're the best invention ever, and I have to agree. Then we had to pack some sweet pouches. We had 24 for a London hotel wholesale order, and then we had some cafe wholesale orders as well because our website orders were already sorted because the girls had restocked the sweet shelves last week. Then I headed into my office and I had to set up my little photography corner so that I could photograph next month's sugar fix box. I do all the product photography and film all the content here. This is my amateur setup, but it works. Next month is ice cream themed and I'm so excited for you guys to see what's inside it. I forgot to bring my lunch, so I ended up having to eat my breakfast oats for lunch instead, which was fine, but didn't quite hit the spot. And the girls were packaging up some of the orders and then I started editing the photos and I found myself a cheeky magnum in the freezer, which I was well happy about. We had 160 orders to pack, which is pretty wild for a Thursday in July. It's normally our quiet period. And we're fulfilling like 50% more orders than we did last July. And yeah, it's very exciting to see what's gonna come as we continue to grow. This was just some of the orders and we still had cafe orders to pack as well. I then drove home and got comfy and spent a couple of hours making some video content.